Sophia, Ed, it is so lovely to meet you both. I'm so excited to chat with you today about Rebel Moon. It's lovely Thank to you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so my first question is for you, Sophia. So I want to talk about Cora. I think she's an extraordinary character and not just because she's like got these amazing skills and she's super badass and all those things which are true, but because she represents something that I feel uh, we need to see more on screen. And that is an open heart, a changed heart. Mm -hmm. um, I'm wondering if you could talk a little bit about that and um, if you feel like it's important to see that represented on screen as well. Of, of course, absolutely. I mean, just seeing a, not only just a strong, powerful character on screen, but seeing a woman who is also going through something, who has who, who is vulnerable. And vulnerable is not necessarily being weak. And, right. and and for me, playing a character that is in the middle of going through that, in the middle of finding her voice, of finding who she is and what she deserves, and then ending up for like finding it on screen, that voice that helps her fight for it and yeah. push further to, it's almost like coming of, of self that we see on, on, on screen with Cora. And I, right. I, I think that it, I, I, we do see strong, powerful female roles now more and more, and it's important. But I think I, I love that you can find a woman at a place where she is just dealing with something and being able to be vulnerable and 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 just show that and, and overcoming it. I think we need elements that are relatable in strong yeah. female characters. And I feel like, and I hope, I mean, I have that with Cora. I'm inspired and I relate to it on various many levels. But, and and I hope that it trans it translates for other people. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I appreciate that like it shows that people don't have to be recalcitrant in their ideas. Like they can change. And that's that's really yeah. powerful. And having a chance, yeah, absolutely changing and a chance for redemption, uh, you know, is is very, very important. Yeah. Yeah. Now well on the other hand, Ed, there is your character. Admiral Noble is pretty locked into his beliefs. Uh, and this is a film that kind of wears its sociopolitical influences on its sleeve. I'm curious, when you were crafting this character internally, you know, did you take any inspiration from real world, you know, or historical characters? Um, and if so, how did you incorporate them into to Admiral Noble? A big influence that, that Zach gave me in the first Zoom that we did was Amon Gur. Um, mm -hmm. who is a uh, German man um, who was portrayed by Ralph Fiennes in, in Schindler's List, but is a real um, man that grew up, uh, was a track and field um, athlete in his school, had no history of violence, no criminal record, middle class, good parents, good home. Then when the war happened, he joined the Nazi party and, and rose up through the ranks pretty quickly. And he was sent to a concentration camp very far away. This is the similarity to Noble going to the, what he calls the backwater of the galaxy to find the Blood Axe sibling. So he's sent away, he's been away for over a year. So he's at this place where he's got power and nobody monitoring that power. And it's how power can corrupt an individual. And then that can be accentuated further. And Amon Goeth, um, committed some horrible uh, personal um, vicious um, atrocities there um, in the concentration camp, even further than the atrocities that they were doing on mass. And that was something which was really informative to think about that, how somebody can have a, a crack in, um, in, in, in their uh, moral, code although it's hard to think of noble having any moral code but a crack in their moral code and then seeing that open up and once it opens up you know what's inside of that dark chasm of uh the human psyche and you know as someone who's like the opposite of that it's like uh jungian shadow work to explore that dark side to explore the shadows of human psyche um so really interesting and really horrible to inhabit um <laughs> You know, really, really, I was very relieved to rap um, and very relieved to let go of him. Um, but I had a job to do to explore. And and, and I uh, like with everything I do, for better, for worse, I, I went all the way. Ugh, 
I love it. And I love the genre allows us to to kind of go these places in a safe way. Well, mm-hmm. thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. This has been so amazing. And I cannot wait to see what happens with you guys in part two. Thank you. Thank you.